Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. Okay, I want to ask you uh, how are you doing with the platform? Uh, uh, were you able to finish the platform? Because today was the day to finish that one. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, we can. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay very well. Good evening. About... Good evening. Welcome to the class. So I was wondering if you were able to finish the platform. So everybody finished the platform already? Not yet, or... teacher. Today. Ah, okay, very well. Today is fine. What about the rest of the people? I finished, yes, teacher. Yeah, finish. Finish. Very good, very good, perfect. Okay. Okay, so we're going to continue speaking about the topic we were discussing this week. So we were speaking about training and how to deliver that one. We also were speaking about the different kinds of training, different kinds of benefits that we can have for training. So before the training, what do you believe that we need to do? What are the steps for us to, to check the training before the training? If you were to have to deliver the training, what would be the first thing that you have to do? What do you think? Maybe teacher, um, before of the training, in my opinion, it's important to know what is the expectative about the training, about the 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 knowledge that you need to reinforce or, or need to get. Um, that's important to prepare with a check, a prepare um, to check a, your a schedule and for to review a, if you have the enough time for, for example, see the training is online, it's very important to, to have the, the, the time for focus. Focus is right, teaching. Yeah, focus. Focus, focus um, um, without distraction. This that's it, teacher. Perfect, thank you. So, yeah, you say something very important about expectations. So, uh, probably the first thing that we need to do is to check about the needs, right? And uh, I mean, as we discussed before in another class, it's not only to deliver a training, I mean, there should be a purpose, right? To reach objectives of the, of the company. So, so if we go back to that point, if we go to how to identify the need, how, how would you do that one? What do you think that you need to do? Imagine, imagine that you are going to design the program for the training. So how do you know what are the needs that people in the company have? What do you think? Well, in the company, teacher, you can you can make a um, questionnaire or plan for for the employees. Express what is what is he needs to learn. 
very good. Actually, that is something very important. So sometimes uh, we, uh, I mean, we don't know what they they want, what they need. And uh, if you do that one, of course, they are going to be the ones that can tell you in a better way what they need to do. That is one of the first approaches, I mean, to, to ask the employees, hey, uh, what do you want to learn? What else do you need to uh, to achieve so, something like that. What else can we do for us to identify the need? What do you think? Needs of training in a company. Besides asking the, the employees, of course. Maybe. Maybe maybe looking uh, the the weakness areas in in a department. I think perfect. That is actually the other thing. So there are two things that we have to do before we design a train. The first, well, we need to find what are the needs. But for us to find the needs, there are two approaches. The first one is to to ask the employees directly, right? So what do you want to learn? What kind of training do you need? Uh, sometimes they might say something crazy that is not possible to achieve. But sometimes, mm -hmm. the most of the times, they are going to say important things that they know that they want or they need to learn, right? Depending, and, depending on the necess necessity that, uh, that uh, each employee is uh, wants to wants to learn. In our case, uh, we tell to to our boss we need to we need to learn more Excel because Excel we use every day Excel and right. we need to, to to learn how to do more uh, tables and uh, the, for, the formulas. Uh, and we tell we tell him we need to learn Excel. Very good. So that is it. I mean, yeah. The second definitely is to check about uh, weaknesses. If a department is not achieving a goal, maybe one two months, that is fine. It might be different reasons why they are not achieving the goals. Maybe they have new personnel or many other things. But uh, when something is happening recurrently then we know that something is going on. And then we need to sometimes train and sometimes retrain. So because sometimes they know some things, but you need to be sure that they are following the right procedures, right? Okay, so then we know the needs. And then uh, another thing that we have to do is to, to check what kind of training we're going to deliver. Uh, what is the difference, for example, for a regular training in a workshop, what do you think? What might be the difference between a training, any kind of training, and a workshop? That is a kind of training, but it's a little bit different. What do you think it is? The, the last one, teacher, is um, a training or, or induction specific for uh, for your work. Okay. And I think the training is maybe a topic in general. Okay. And, use, and you can use the information more important for use in your position. Okay, very good. Perfect. So... Yeah, that is one of the difference that something is very specific, the workshop is more specific for skills, and the other one is, it could be in a general way. Uh, what other differences you can think whenever we're speaking about workshops or regular trainings? I think that a workshop is more complete. Okay. Uh, why do you think it's more complete? What I mean, what makes the, the, it more complete? Uh, a workshop, a workshop is 
more complete, I think, because uh, uh, in in a workshop, uh, the people engage in an intensive discussion or activity on a particular uh, subject. Okay, very good. Interesting. So, yes, a workshop is more in detail, right? So when you attend to a workshop, you will learn something more in deep. And, uh, well, one of the main differences is that in a workshop, you practice something, right? For example, when you are going to learn about a new software, for example, there most likely is going to be a workshop, the one that you're going to do. Because in the workshops, I mean, they are going to show you the interface, they are going to show you the steps for you to log in, and the different screens or different things that you can do there. And then they are going to show you exactly what the company needs you to do with the workshops. And then once you understand everything there, you need to practice. They are probably going to sit you down and, and tell you, okay, go here and try to do this. I mean, manage this case or handle this kind of information software. So when you practice, when you actually are able to, to experience what you are learning, that is more a workshop, right? Good. And that is like before the training. What do you think should happen after the training? For example, uh, at the company, when someone new arrives to the company, uh, the person uh, have a training uh, about two days. And in the training, uh, I listen that uh, uh, they explain how to use the system. The, I think that are, there are, are the basics, the basic uh, the basic steps to do something, but really only with uh, uh, only when uh, how you say when your day uh, when you really oh, your really moment is when you yeah uh, you are um, alone in the in the position and and you you have to. You have to remember uh, all the things that you you learn in the training. I think that sometimes uh, two days is, is a lot of time, a less of time, it's not much time to to learn how the system, how to use the system. But um, you try day by day, and um, knowing the the process, I think. So maybe... Huh? Go ahead. Uh, I believe that uh, after of the training is important to, to give a monitor uh, for example, um, in feedback about the training or about the quality, training quality of the instructor teacher. Right. It's important to, to know what is the improve, improve, improvement, no improve, okay. improve okay. areas. Area de mejoramiento, improvement. Improve, yeah, improvement areas. Very good. Improvement areas. Yes, teacher, that's it. Perfect. So, yes, actually, that is one of the most important things that we need to, to check whenever we finish the training. Because remember that not only because of the training department, they need to improve and the processes and many other things. Also, uh, we need to, to check about the feedback, about the material, and be ready whenever we have to deliver the training again, right? Because, I mean, it's not the last time that you're going to deliver this training. If another person is hired, of course, you're going to deliver the training again. So that is what we're going to discuss today. 
about uh, well, one of the tools that we do for or that we use for us to check about the quality of the training is the um, uh, is a survey. So we're going to speak about a survey, how to design survey, and things like that one. Okay. Uh, also, please remember that tomorrow, tomorrow is our last day of class, and we're going to uh, check the survey from Insafor, speaking about service. So uh, be ready with that one. Remember that sometimes we need to copy and paste things. You have experience in that one, but just be ready for that, okay? And uh, also, if you haven't finished the platform, it has to be done today or tomorrow in the morning. I will be sending the names of people if they are missing parts because tomorrow at midnight, I mean, if you haven't done that one, it's going to close the uh, the platform and it's not, not possible to continue. Okay. And uh, of course, before we move on into the next topic, we're going to check the attendance. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Alejandra Michelle Wilson Najera. Present teacher. Good. Ana Selmi Chévez. Teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erasmo. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Maybe Coromoto Garcia de Calderón. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Present teacher. Ah, ok, good, perfect. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, good evening. Good evening. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Good, perfect. So we're going to go into the evaluation of trainings and we're going to, to check a video about some service results and best practice on that one. And then we're going to read a little bit more about that one, okay? So let's check something here. Here we go. Hello, my name is Murray Chapman and I lead the Instincts Health and Community Services practice. Today I'm sharing six ideas on how to respond to your employee engagement survey so that you can connect with your employees and get their support for your improvement journey. The first idea is to communicate your results promptly and effectively. Employees need to hear that you have heard them and that you will be responding to their feedback and addressing their concerns. Timeliness, authenticity, transparency and sequence are very important. Here are five ways to do that. Number one, share and discuss the results and their implications with your executive and leadership teams so that they fully understand what the survey has said and are in a position to answer any employee questions. Secondly, very soon after the survey is closed, your CEO should send out an email to all staff, thanking them for their participation and summarizing the key messages that have come out of the survey. Thirdly, you can provide face-to-face -face feedback to employees, in these days also possibly using video technology and you can do that either at an all staff meeting or you can do it by location or function depending on exactly what your circumstances are. Following the debriefs, we suggest that you issue an all staff bulletin which summarizes your main strengths 
and your main improvement areas. It normally would be in the, in the newsletter format and it would take between one and four pages. It would be very authentic and very transparent. It would include a few sample employee comments, both, both about what you're doing well and about where you can improve. And finally, the fifth step is to make sure that you continue to refer back to employee re survey results and that you give people regular updates. A very good format for doing that is to say, this is what you said, this is what we've done, and this is what we're going to do next. And that should happen at least every two months or possibly every quarter. The second idea is to make sure that you understand your survey results before you decide what to do. This might sound a little bit odd, but sometimes it can be perplexing and hard to understand exactly what employees meant when they responded to a survey result. For example, perhaps fewer than half of employees said that they feel as if they're using their skills and their talents to their full potential. And you may genuinely not understand that. In a case like that, it's worth actually going back to employees, either via one-on-one -on -one meetings or via focus groups to understand what's behind that and what would fix it. The third idea is to prioritize the areas that you're going to address. Ideally, you don't create new work for yourself. Ideally, you look at your business plan and you can see that initiatives are already there. And you might expand some of the ideas in your business plan or you might change the sequence or you might prioritize certain things. But ideally, you're not creating a whole lot of extra work for yourself. You also don't need to address all the problems. It's absolutely fine to prioritize two or three and we normally recommend you only do two or three get that right and then move on to lower priority items employees actually respond really well if you say we've looked at a whole range of ideas and things that we could do but we've de decided to focus on just these two or three things in the immediate term these are the reasons why we've chosen these two or three things we want to implement them properly and then we'll move on to other things that normally gets a very good response from employees our fourth idea is to evaluate your response options. There are in fact three ways in which you can respond. Many organizations only consider one way, which is designing and implementing initiatives. And this is almost always necessary. The downside of initiatives is that they do consume time, effort and often money. Two alternatives are firstly to simplify the way you do things, often by removing obstacles, doing less, taking things away, it actually lifts employee engagement enormously. So it's a very powerful way of addressing issues by actually simplifying your operations and making things easier. There's also another way which is around changing behaviors. So for example, if you meet with your employees once a month for regular catch-ups, just putting a bit more structure, a bit more thinking into what you're already doing, changing your behaviors can deliver fantastic results. The fifth idea is to set specific goals relating to the issues that you've decided to address. We suggest that you choose a small number of survey items where you might set a specific improvement target. For example, if 50% of your employees indicated that they're inspired by the organization's vision, you might decide to set that a target of say 60% for your next survey. When you then look at all the initiatives and plans and simplification pieces, behavior change that you've put in place, you can actually look at that and say, will that actually impact that outcome measure? Will it help 60% of people to be inspired by our organization vision? So it does help you really focus on the most important things and making sure that the actions you're going to take will actually deliver the results that you're looking for. Finally, you need to agree how you're going to follow through. Agree how you're going to implement the prioritized actions and how you're going to follow through. You might make it a regular meeting agenda item or you might set up a subcommittee responsible for your action plan or you might implement a staff forum to see these actions through. Setting specific goals, measuring progress and keeping up communication feedback 
will help to keep people focused on implementing the agreed actions. In summary then, speed, authenticity and prioritization are key elements in responding to your survey results. Err on the side of under-promising and over-delivering. We wish you every success as you respond to your survey results to enhance employee engagement and thereby achieve better business results. Perfect. What did you get from the video? Nothing at all. Any opinions or comments? In my case, teacher, sorry, I can hear um, the presentation of the sir. Really? Nobody could hear that? I think that uh, sometimes uh, the most common mistake at the companies is that they make a survey with an object, with an object, objective, but uh, the employees never knows the results, and he tells something uh, very important communicate your employees uh, the results promptly and effectively employees need to need to hear that you have heard them and that you will you will uh, you will be responding and but sometimes um, it will be it will be Amazing if the companies, uh, after a survey, they communicate to the employees the the response. Okay, very well. And uh, uh, yeah, I will send the video. I don't know if you can hear this thing moved. Something's going on here. Can you hear me right now? Yes. Okay, very well. All right. Also, so also, 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 he said that uh, take the time to go deeper uh, to understand the results. Uh, there's another point, and then he mentioned the side, the side, and the priorities to address. Uh, mm -hmm. prioritize the the areas that you're going to address. Italy, you don't you don't know. Um, Italy, you don't know. I tried to say something, but I, I forget. I lost. I write very very fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I I try to I try to to understand him. <laughs> Okay, so yes, uh, the, the tips were very good. And yeah, you are right. Sometimes um, employees, they are not able to, to check the results of the survey. Uh, probably that is very common because the management is the one that is going to analyze. The real problem is when when they provide feedback and, and the management, they don't listen to the employees, right? There are no changes. So that is a big problem. That is not only about a training, but also about any processes or procedures uh, or the product or anything, because the employees are the one that know more, right? Uh, and you are right. So we need to to do certain things so everything goes goes well. Any other comments or opinion on the video?
Okay, so we're going to check this article. This is uh, about creating a survey, right? So essential questions to ask in your training evaluation survey. And it says, our training survey question template will help you get actionable student experience, insights, and identify positive testimonials. And training evaluation questions help you get actionable feedback on your training program helping you refine your offering to improve the learning experience for future students. So this is something that I was telling you. Yes, the feedback is important because you want to improve, as Anasalmi was saying. You want to improve the training material, the time of the training, the whole experience of the training. But what should you ask and when should you ask it? So, why ask training evaluation questions? That is the first part. That is going to be for, let's say, Wendy Maribel. Okay. Why ask training evaluation questions? Why ask training evaluation questions? Of course. Participants, you can get constructive feedback. Your course is the same. Delivery in, in content. Helping you refine your training course and make it even better. Training evaluation question can tell you more about customers' opinions on your training methods, your tools and resources, your course structure, your course content, your assessment methods, technical delivery, and more. Okay, and what did you understand on that one, Wendy? Um, is necessary by uh, evaluation, the evaluation of, uh, of the other feedback, of course. Okay, definitely. So it's, I believe, I, I believe that you agree on that one also, that it's important to evaluate everything, right? The buying of new material, the processes of production, the sales method, marketing, everything has to be evaluated. And training definitely is a key part if you want the employees to improve, right? So definitely it's going to be a very important part. And you will be able to evaluate many things here. The method, for example, the tools that you use for this, the resources, the course structure, sometimes it's too large, sometimes, I mean, many things. The course content sometimes is not that relevant. Assessment methods. So you know that whenever you go to training, sometimes there are tests at the end, quizzes. So evaluate also that one and the technical delivery and many other things. So, and it says the training evaluation survey can help to shape your course to your learner's need and make your training program more effective. So definitely that's what we want. So there are three main stages of a training evaluation survey. So that one is going to be for uh, Susana Beatriz. Sorry, teacher. Are you able to speak? Are you sick? If you're sick, no worries. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay. There, there may. Three main, huh? Okay, three may, three may stage of the training evaluation survey. 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 When you are conduct a training evaluation survey, it helps to break your survey down 
into three categories. Before the course, find out what your participate or hobby to learn and who they rate the pre-course process uh, during the course. Get evaluation in on your course designing, including content, structure, and delivery. After the course, receive feedback of the course over, over, overhaul and well in learning certification and your follow up process. You meet, you might choose, you might choose to conduct the survey of at the end of the course or use a series of smaller, smaller training evaluation survey is strong, strong, but <laughs> throughout. The, throughout of the course. This alone, you receive continuous and going feedback for course participants. You meet the teacher. <clears throat> wish, 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 whichever, whichever your shoes, whichever, whichever you choose, make sure and you add clear cut to action where there is an opportunity to provide the feedback on the cures to improve training, evaluation, survey, participation. Like within, within the course player experience or at October in May. Okay, what did you understand on this one? And um, what, um, when, when the go receive uh, the course, um it has has a three three moment or three uh, pass <laughs> uh, is in el before the course uh, is a uh, when I learning or see the first uh, the course uh during during the course is a uh, when uh, learning or, or I uh, teach uh, the course, uh, and after the course is a uh, uh, also the feedback uh, the the course be okay uh, is a, a, a selfie satisfy satisfaction <laughs> satisfaction and. Mm -hmm. uh, or is a uh, the company too? Is a uh, the maid or or the the per the person uh, uh, I may or, or how do you say teacher or lo pone en práctica? In the practice. Okay, it's a point the practice. Only that teacher. Very good, perfect. So there are three main points, uh, two main points here actually. So the three categories that you need to analyze need to solve, right? What happened before the course? If, did you say an agenda? Did you notice in advance with time? Things that are little details. During the course, definitely that is the most important. I mean, was the trainer good? Uh, was the, uh, the room good? The time of the presentation was good, many things, right? And after the course, definitely. So checking about what is going on on that one, you believe that it's going to be practical for you, things like that. And also it's interesting that you can uh, conduct service in different ways. You can do it at the end of the course, that is the most common, right? Almost all the companies, and almost all the, the trainings are like that. Or after each module, you can go and evaluate uh, this most likely is going to be with a paper or with a link for you to submit a sub so it's it's like the most common
So there are different types of uh, service. This one is going to be for, let's see, Rosa Elena. Okay. Survey question types. It's important to give your respondents space to express their opinions oh. without using leading questions. To do so, you might like to use a combination of open-ended questions. Rating scale questions and light curved scale questions. Open-ended questions. Evaluators type, type out a qualitative response. Useful when you want details and specific feedback. Rating scales. scales. Evaluators give you a quantity rating between 1, 5, or 110, or 110. These are useful when you don't need a descriptive answer, like overall satisfaction. satisfaction. Lighter scales. Evaluators answer on a scale of strongly disagree to strongly agree. Useful for getting a holistic view of opinions and includes a neutral midpoint. Maybe. Well, what we don't, okay, we want to learn about or ready to use training evaluation question examples. Hey, okay, what do you get from this? Um, the all the surveys need to have open open and ended questions, um, uh, because uh, these uh, these are useful when when we want a uh, detail and a specific feedback. Then the other type of, of questions are the rating scales. And um, because uh, sometimes uh, we need a, a, a writing, writing the, the answers until one to five or one to 10. And these are useful when you don't need a descriptive answer. Uh, and then Likert scales. Uh, oh, this these questions uh, are when you need to when you need to answer if you are agree or if you are uh, disagree. Um, that's uh, that's kind of, of, of question it includes a neutral mind point. Okay. So it's very interesting. I mean, I believe that you have seen all these kind of service, right? So, and uh, the objective of each of those is different. So in the first one, in the open-ended questions is qualitative. So what, uh, it's not like a, a, a range, it's not numeric. It's like, I like this, I didn't like this, with details, right? That will be. So if you really want specific details about the survey, I mean, about the training, this is the kind of survey that you are going to send. On the other hand, the rating one, right? So how good was it? Was a one, was a three, was a five, right? So so just to check if you really like different parts of the training. And the other one is something that is very common nowadays. You strongly disagree, meaning that you believe that this didn't accomplish at all, or you strongly agree, you are happy and satisfied. By it. And the good thing about this one, that, that is a midpoint, a neutral mid midpoint. So when you say not agree, not, it's like, ah, whatever. Was not good, was not bad. So that would be. So these are like the most common and the most popular. So um, depending on the training, and of course, what you want to know about the training, you are going to design either or any of these. Okay, questions to ask students before taking the course. So this is before. Remember, I, I believe that you have gone to trainings where before you started training, there is a survey, right? A little quiz, a little thing, just to check how your knowledge is, if you know something about that one, or to check the expectations, as Anna Sal said. So sometimes you have some expectations. If you're going to learn something very nice, you have a lot of expectations. 
say, oh, here I'm going to the many things. So uh, this is for before taking the course, okay? So we're going to start this part with Silvia Suleiman. Not possible. Anna, send me. Yes, teacher. Question to ask. Yeah. Question to ask, ask a student before talking talks. Using training evaluation questions before your course starts to get a clearer picture of what you learn learners hope to achieve by taking your course. You can also conduct a training evaluation survey to assess how well your customer onboarding process is. Learner expectations, asking training evaluation questions that focus on your learner's expectations before the start of the course allows you to get a clearer idea on what content they want to see. This type of training evaluation question can help you to understand how your course matches up to what people are looking for and gives you, you the opportunity to, to tweak your course as needed. To quick, teacher. Yeah, yeah, tweak. Tweak. Um, eh, it's important to know how the public need or wait about the train, the training, eh, because the internal clients or external clients. Eh, it's important to know their expectation uh, before. In the, the best way is to ask directly what is your expectation about this course, about this training, about this subject. And it's important that information because um, the, the it's possible modify modify the train the training if mm, for for example um, when the public or, or learners or learners are or have more experience and the content content uh, of the training required the other level of the, the knowledge, for example, or, or share, or it's important to share the different experiences about the specific topic when they are more ex, more senior se teacher, more senior you can say senior. public, yeah. Yeah. more senior public. And the other, uh, the other, like it's like the other or the other uh -huh. point uh -huh. and when the public uh, don't have a uh, experiences it's important to focus in basic information because it's not good when the trainer assumes that the 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 public knows the public knows the, the previous knowledge. Um, I believe that it's very, very important the, when you, um, you are preparing a training, directly ask, what is your expectation about this course? Okay, I'm very good. <laughs> Thank you, Anasa. Very nice. So that is it. I mean, uh, before the uh, taking the course, 
as Anselmi said, you need to evaluate what kind of public you have, right? So to know what you're going to ask. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you have people that they have a lot of knowledge and they will specialize on something or they will review some specific skills or tasks. Uh, sometimes, I mean, it's not just um, like at roller training. Sometimes it's like a review of some topics. So definitely that is going to uh, be different not only with this survey, but also with the last survey, right? And of course, it doesn't matter what happens. Uh, one of the things that you need to ask before is the expectations. What do you expect to learn? How do you expect to, to achieve your goals whenever you finish this training? Things like that are very, very important. Good. Uh, let's see. We're going to check some uh, words. There are not many, but I believe you uh, tweak. Anybody knows what is tweak? Okay, tweak is like to provide a form, a specific shape uh, to something. So that would be it. Okay, and there are some examples here. It says try ideas. Uh, let's see. Carla Vasquez, can you please read this part? Not possible. Uh, Susana Hernandez. Not possible either. Gloria Elizabeth. Not possible. Patricia Linares. Not possible. Edward Alexander. Of course. Uh, try these ideas for pre course training evaluation questions to help your you drill down on what learners really want. What uh what are your kid learning objectives for this course? How confident are you that the course will deliver on the learning objectives? What are your motivations for talking the course? At the end of the course, what do you hope to have achieved? What topics in particular are you hoping will be covered in this course? What types of learning do you like best? What area areas of this topic do you struggle with the most? What are the biggest barriers to you achieve with achieving your learning goals? Have you completed any other training in this file before taking this course? How do you hope this course will improve on previous education experience? Okay, what do you think about these questions? Um, I think this is the idea uh, after the pre-course training evaluations. Uh, I think it's uh you need to follow up this um uh topic before you start an evaluation asking question to drill down and what learners really want. But uh the the the, the interesting here is uh there is a lot of uh things that how you can um uh, start your ideas before you start uh, a training evaluation, and and I and I'm really interesting in the in this one. The it's um let me see this one. What areas of this topic do you struggle with with the most? And the other one, and what are the biggest barriers to achieving your learning goals? I don't understand this question. Uh, because uh. I don't I don't know what is the word uh various. What are the biggest barriers to what she won your learning goals? Yeah, uh, barriers in this case is like limits, limitations. So, oh limitations. That yeah. that makes that, that that makes sense. And in the other one, what areas of this topic did you struggle? Struggle mm -hmm. is like it's a very common verb that uh 
represents that you have problems with something. Mm -hmm. So that you don't understand, that you don't know how to figure it out. So mm -hmm. that is the idea. So what areas of this topic do you have problems with? I mean, which parts of this you don't understand? What things do okay. you need help with? So that would be. Okay. Very good, thank you. So that would be it. I mean, what you see here is that the, I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm uh, sorry, I, I was my daughter talking, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, very good, no problem. So you can see here that these questions are very open, right? I mean, if you read this question, you can use this too for any kind of train, any, any kind. So you, um, of course, Maybe it's not a good idea to ask all of the questions, maybe five questions, because this is a pre-course, at, at least for training that are regular trainings. If you are going to deliver like master training that is going to take several days, yeah, probably you need to, to go beyond. Okay, so let's talk about course preparation. Alejandra Michel. Okay, uh, let's see. Walter Mauricio. Okay. Um, and who is he? What is the one? I wrote in the course, yes. Or the, uh, once. Was the, ah, okay. Once, was yeah. Course, it was the course of has started. You can also ask for further batch on the pre course presentation. It's important to make sure you make a good feel impression and using you are onboarding and tiger tables. Targets. Here, targets. Here are some pre course training evaluation. Question, examples, try. Who is was into the role in the course? Who would you write the pre training process? What was missing from the process? Who can the preparation process be improved? What the course description is it to understand? Where the learning goes clearly, clearly, study before the start of the course. Very clear what the course included. Who would you are customer service? The communication before the course. Who would you are the tools? Who would you are, you write the course? Right. Write the course. On boarding process, who could the pro the pre course uh, communication had been improved? Okay, what did you understand here? Oh, a lot of things. <laughs> 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 oh my God, so it is necessary. And um, for example, number one, who is the easy was enrolled on the curve. And always, and when they prepare the meeting, is necessary to uh, 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 prepare a, a topic easy. And, and that the all the people, and they are on the stair. On the stair in the proof. Uh, and the good, the more good, and other uh, who could be the profession improved and the what and the presentation the the, the meeting is a necessary uh, as uh, a clarification and and the, all the the topics they prepare number one, number two, three. 
is unnecessary. The process and other customers send me communication before the person. Okay, very good, perfect. So yeah, these are different questions. These are not related with the expectation, but with the process of uh, getting into the course. Sometimes uh, you need to enroll, sometimes you need to, um, there's like a process. For example, here in Insafor, when you are going to start, you uh, the, the human resources department, they need to send the papers, uh, they need to send you the links, the information, then you have to enroll into the platform, enter your email, the password, check if the material is there, um, check about the, the date of the class when you're going to start. So all that is like a process before the, the training course. And also it's possible to evaluate that one. So everybody provides feedback and it's possible to improve that process. Okay, questions to ask students during the course. This is a little bit different. Maria Elena. Not possible. Yeah. Everybody's busy today. Let's see then. Um, Susana Beatriz. Okay. Question to ask a student during the course. Of course, any effective training evaluations, survey, survey, and so need to include questions about the course itself, including delivery content and the over, overall structure. After every lesson to come, you can deliver a training evaluation, evaluation survey to find out if and how, how the lesson is helping participate reach their learning objective. You could also use training evaluation survey to see if learning understood the content on the course. Here are some examples of good training evaluation questions to help you listen to your audience and tap into their expen expenses. Expertise. Expertise. Good, what did you understand here? Okay. Um, and the paragraphs um is a uh, uh, during the course um uh, is eff effective uh if um make a uh, evaluation uh at the at the participant because um. Is a um, has has a um a major um entendement and the the participant intending on no the course. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. very good. So yes, uh, of course, as, as the paragraph says, you need to evaluate the training itself. Okay, everything that is related to the course, it has to be evaluated. The pre one is important, but this is the most important. Okay, so let's talk about course content, right? What can we ask about course content? Let's see, Wendy Maribel. Not possible. Uh, Rosalena. Okay. Co course content. Yes. Okay. Continuously improving course content 
it it is a really effective way to make sure your course delivers what it promises and matches matches oops matches oops again uh, matches oops against the competition. A training evaluation survey is a great method to get valuable feedback on your course content. If you want to find out more about the quality of your course content, try these training evaluation questions. The, the, I, I don't know if I'm pronounced good course. Course? course. No, course. Yeah, <laughs> course. yeah of course. <laughs> yeah. Did the course content align with your expectations? How will how would you rate the quality of your course, con course content? How engage engaging was the course content? How satisfied were you with the variety of the course content? Was the course content easy to understand? Was the course content detailed enough for your needs? Was the course content helpful? Was the course content repetitive? How satisfied were you with the methods of assessment? What was missing from the course content? Hey, what do you get here? If you want to find one. Oh my God. Uh, we need to, we need to understand all the, all the questions that uh, are here to to know uh, if the promises that the courses uh, matches uh, here say matches match up soups against the competition. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's going to be about the content and sales of the approach, right? So, for example, uh, the first one is one of the most did the course content align. With your expectations, I mean, you expect something before, and the content, the things that you saw there in the material, was what you were expecting, was less, was more, something like that, or the quality of the course content. That is very general, actually. But in, how engaging was the course content, for example? So you were able to check that actually was aimed to show that they need that the Training should be fixed. So there are many things there. And as you can see, it's mostly regarding the content, because that's what we are evaluating. So the good thing, as I was telling you, is that these questions are possible to, to use for any course. It's, it's like very open, right? The course structure is also very important. Uh, and assignment. Courses structure. Asking question about the course structure also gives you a chance to gain insight into your learning path and any obstacle and experience by learners along the way. Here are some training evaluation question examples to give you a hand in designing your survey. How could you rate the course structure? How satisfied were you with the flow of the course? Was the course structure manageable? 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 Was, manageable. Was the course easy to complete? What is, was it clear when what uni ended and a new one started? Started. Were the course milestone clear? Clear, clear. Sorry, teacher. Clear. Did Did you feel like you were making adequate progress through the course? Did you feel equally engaged in every session of the course? Which section of the course work worked best? How satisfied were you? with the number of assessments. That example of the 
a question related to evaluate if your structure of the course is good or required to modif modification? modification? Modify. Modify, yeah, modification. Suena que me lo inventé, Ciro. <laughs> <laughs> modify, to modify or to improve, to improve uh, your structure of the training. Very good. So, uh, yes, you say this is related only with the structure, right? Not the content. The content we evaluated that for, but the structure is something very, very important because uh, maybe the content is relevant, but if the structure is not good, of course, it's not going to work, right? You are going to be bored or some might be happy. Very good. The course delivery. Ah, this is part of the training. Let's see. I mean, the trainer. Uh, let's see. Susan Hernandez. Okay. Could you, can course, you read? Uh, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Course delivery. As well as writing the structure of the course, it is also important to ask questions about the course delivered in your training evaluation survey. The quality of the delivery is crucial to the success of your courses, as that is how learners will receive the training. These questions will help you find out if your course is engaging. 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 Welcome and accessible. To find out more about your course delivered, try asking this tracking just this training evaluation questions. Continue? Yes, yes please. How will you rate the course delivered? Were the course materials engaging? And I, I, I forget the, the okay. engaging. Yeah. Engaging. Okay. Was the course delivered accessible? How you rate the opportunities for collaboration during the course? Did the course meet your expectation for interactivity? Will you have a prefer more or less interactivity? How could the course deliver be improved? Was the size of your training group appropriate? Did the course feel welcoming? Did you feel like you were put off a community during the course. Hey, what did you understand here? I think it's many of this information uh, you can find in the presentation uh, or cotization, 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 uh, quotation, quotation, um, that instructor. Maybe, and I think the the person the, the person make the organization uh, needs consider these options for for make for organize for confirm the activity. Okay, very good. So that's... yeah, very good. Thank you. So that is more related to the way to the methodology that you use or, or the person use for delivering the, the training. Remember that the verb, when we are speaking about training, is delivery. You deliver a training. Uh, it's not give or it's anything like that. So it's going to be delivery. So uh, the way that the training was delivered, that is very important as well because uh, it's speaking about how, or how what resources to use, um, the size, for example, of the group, if it was good, uh, if you feel that you were part of the training, that you were interacting with, with the people there, everything there is um, relevant. And then we go to one sure. of the most important. Go ahead. Sure. In this in this case, um, uh, the people need to consider the place. The place is important for the topic. If you are yes. in a in a out, maybe, and when you are in the in, in the how do you say saloon? In a room. 
Okay, I'm sorry, in a room. I think it's important. Yeah, definitely. That is very important. I mean, it's not the same to be in a room where everybody is all together, right? Or with enough space, good ventilation, right? Good, um, I mean, if it's hot, it's not good. Uh, if you are able to see everything on the presentation, everything is, is important here, bro. definitely. So now this is one of the most important core, uh, course and structure. The person who delivers the train. Uh, Wendy Marivel. Okay. Okay. Um, third inspector. Sorry, I don't see. Oh, I need to. Of course. The training evaluation questions show also include space for learning to share their experience with your course instructors. While you might be re reluctant to hear what participants have to say about your instruction, especially if you're one delivering the, the course. This section of your training evaluation service Sorby should, should not be missed. Here uh, are some training evaluation questions examples to use. How satisfied how satisfied were satisfied. you satisfied? How satisfied were you with the level of instruction you were giving? How it, how good you rate to instructor delivery of the course material? How effective were you instructor communication skills? How good you rate your instructor expertise? Expertise. Expertise. Was it easy to ask your instructor questions? How comfortable comfortable did you feel expressing problems to your instructor? How confident were you in the instructor's abil abil what? ability Ab ability to help you? How would you rate the quality or the feedback you received? With still from your instructor, did your instructor meet your expectations? How could the quality of the instruction be improved? Perfect. What do you get here? So, um. Training. The, the evaluation for training in general. Yeah, that is it, right? So you are going to evaluate with these questions the person that is delivering the, the, the train. Uh, it's important because in, in that way, that person also can improve, right? And uh, the questions also are very general, so you can use them in any kind of training. Course timing, also another important thing. Uh, let's see, Silvia Suleyma. Not possible. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Course, course uh, timing. Uh, what is the pronunciation, teacher? Uh, timing. Timing, okay. Course timing. You might also like to include questions on the duration of the course in your training evaluation survey. This will give you feedback on your learning path, helping you to decide whether your course needs more content or could do with being 
broke broken down into several different chords. Use this target train, training evaluation question to get opinions on your course length, including how long did it take for you to complete the course in, in full? On average, how long did it did it take you to complete each lesson? Did you take an equal amount of, of time to complete each lesson? If not, which lesson took the longest to complete? How satisfied were you with the length? of each lesson? Did the length, length of the course fit your expectations? Were you able to fit your learning around your other commitments? Was there any point during the course where you were forced to pause? How satisfied were you with the length of the course assessment? And were you able to complete the assessment in the allotted time? Okay, what did you understand here? Um, this is a, a example of the of the question for survey. Yeah, mm -hmm. these questions are related to time, right? So, time. Uh, yeah, everything that is related with timing, you can evaluate that as well. I mean, for example, mm -hmm. how long does did it take for you to finish the lesson? Um, if you believe that the time was good, uh, things like that. One. So it's going to be in general for timing, which is something very important, right? Something that is too large is not a good idea. If something is too short, you need to ask your question. Am I going to cover everything that is relevant in this short time? So that is something that we need to check. In. The other one says learning experience and course design. Rosalena. Okay. When it when it comes when it comes to online learning, the quality of the learning experience matters a lot. Few learners will have the patience to take an online course if the, if the learning platform is not functioning properly. That means it's really important to get feedback on the UX UI for, you, for your course so you can address problems as quickly as possible. By asking these questions in your training relations survey, how would you rate the user speed in the course? Was the platform easy to use? Did you find the interface intuitive? What is easy to navigate through the course? What three words come to mind when you think about the course design? Did you find the layout confusing? Oh, yeah. Did you find the layout straightforward? How would you rate the course platform compared to other platforms you've used in the past? How satisfied were you with the overall user experience on the platform? How could the course designs improve? Hey, what did you get here? Did I ask you a question? I think that when we take uh, online courses, courses, and uh, the the people or the learners, uh, we have the passion uh, because sometimes uh, and the platform uh, it could be have problems, but. Um, 
we need to we need to ask all the questions that uh, that here are uh, for example uh, when the platform is easy to use or when the interface is uh, friendly uh, it was easy to navigate on the course and sometimes uh, the design of the of the 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 design of the the site is confusing. You don't understand. You don't know if if you if you uh, if you put a uh, in in another option. I don't know. There are many many questions that uh, we need to we need to uh, answer to to take a a. a training a course online. Perfect. So definitely so the the learning experience in general is a very important part of of the survey because well uh, you are going to check about everything the tools and the resources that you use for for this right. So for example here in the uh, in the course that we're taking about the platform, about the book, about many things that are related to the process that we are following and is a very important part. Course accessibility also very important. Let's see. Susana Beatriz. Course accessibility. Mm. If you're designing a course, it's also important to bear in my to need of different learning. I didn't a sensibility question to your training evaluation sur survey can help you to improve your course and make it more inclusive to write to wider round wider right of learning near need. And here are some ideal, ideas for training evaluation questions centered, centered on accessibility. Who certified were you with the course over accessibility? Who certified were you with your, the course audio? And uh, where you are Able, able to adjust to ball the volume to your needs. What's the course type type of face is to read read? Who satisfy satisfy where you with the color use strong? How do you <laughs> yeah throughout throughout the course? And who satisfy where you with the front side? Uh, I teach her, excuse me. No Strong <laughs> the course. <laughs> where you able to interact with the course in a way uh, that suits su 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 your needs. What Accessible fields did you feel were lacking for the course? Did you receive the accessibility support you need during the course? And what addition accessibility fields could improve the course? Okay, what did you understand here? Excuse me, teacher. No worries. Okay, Sorry. yes. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, teacher, is uh, in the 
parts and the common different ideas for the question uh, for but uh, uh, como sa asking uh, the uh, participator in the course. Mm -hmm. hey, yeah, this is about accessibility, right? Uh, I don't know if you have been in courses that are very difficult, very difficult to access. Uh, it's asking to a password and it's never taking the password. And sometimes it's loading very slow. And sometimes you have to look for the course inside of the platform. A lot of things that are not good at all, okay? So accessibility is also important. This is also uh, possible to evaluate uh, if, for example, it's a physical one. I remember once I went to a, a training in a place very hidden. I don't know. I don't remember where I was because I had to take like three buses to get there. I mean, that was crazy. So yeah, accessibility is something very important because can impact the way that you um, learn to the training. Technical questions, Gloria Elizabeth. Not possible. Edwin Alexander. Not possible. Let's see who else. Walter Mauricio. Not possible. Maria Elena. Ah, Walter, you are. Teacher, teacher, go yes. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Ten, okay, technical question. You mean want to include technical question in your training evaluation survey? And this is going to help you identif identify. Ident identify. Identi identify any technical and foul that may be preventing and learning from and access it. Your course resource. Here are some sample training evaluation survey question for technical problems. Who satisfied where are you with the technical delivery of the course? Do you experience any problem with the course login? And where you aware of any technical foul or booth during the course? And the all the external mean world, means work. Uh, where are you are access the course and uh, via you are mobile at table. Do you notice any daily or line in the delivery on the course content? And did the video content load on your device? And where are you able to don't long the resource. Where are you able to view all the images and graphics in the school? Who is satisfied? And where are you win the quality of the technical from how to troubleshooting? Troubleshooting. Okay, what did you understand here? It's a, a, a good technical. Is a prepared the different the different exposition, and for example, and we can the using at uh, the table, uh, 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 access uh, for the course. Uh, for example, and I had a presentation, the the meeting. For example, I prepare a different topics and when describe and and the social media and the videos are different. Is the is the good a technical question and prepare a different different topics, different teams. 
Very good. So that is it, right? Uh, sometimes, depending on if it's online or if it's um face to face training, uh, there are always some technical issues. For example, at the beginning, sometimes the projector is not working, uh, the internet connection is not working, or if you are going to do like a software training, sometimes some computers are not working properly, they don't have installed the software. Many things happen. Also, as we also check in the uh, online meetings, also if the internet connection is not working properly, or uh, the sound is sometimes um, not that good, many things can happen. So it's a very good way to ask the server about some technical questions. So now this is the last part. Post-training survey questions. When your learners have completed the course, it is a perfect opportunity to issue a training evaluation survey to get honest feedback on their experience. A training evaluation survey can help you learn more about the learner satisfaction and overall customer experience. So here are some ideas for training evaluation questions. Please consider certificates and awards. Maria Elena. Um, certificate and awards. Certificates and awards can in try adding. Uh, certificate and awards can help learners feel a greater sense of achievement at the end of a course while also helping in with motivation uh, through the course and professional growth. If your other certificate as the part of your course is a good idea to get feedback on this in in your post-training evaluation survey. Try adding this question to the survey. Did you like that the course offered certificate? Were you satisfied with the quality of the certificate you received? Um, good learning a certificate or a Award help help you to feel more um, committed 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 to the committed to the course. Did you share the certificate with college? Um, how like how likely are you to share the certificate in on social media? How you intend to use the certificate going forward? Uh, did you feel that the certificate improved your overall perception of the course? How the how much did the course certificate influence your decision to take the course? Would you prefer to take a course uh, that offers certificate over the over one the one that doesn't? Is there anything else that you would like to receive after completing the course? Perfect. What do you get here? Um, I understand when the people obtain certificate and award is a um, good thing. Um, make um, a question around the quality and how the people feel with the um, with the course. And um, other things the course offer 
Uh, the student, students. Okay, very good. So yes, um, certificates are important. I mean, that is true. Um, if they say you are going to come with this training, some people they ask sometimes, are you going to give a certificate about this, a diploma? Uh, so if people say yes, sometimes uh, they are more more likely to they are going to get the the course right. Because it's something very important for some people to have a paper that you finish, that you actually achieve something. So uh, it's something very important. So actually, I want to ask you: Have you ever received certificate from Insafor from the English classes? Has anybody received that already? Yes, in yes. all uh, all courses, uh, always we make. Uh, survey. A, survey. No. Yes, a, survey. A, a certificate. Have you received the certificate of the basic um, ones? Or... Yes. Uh, I believe our two certificates when we finish the basic and um, where we finish um, media, level, level, media. Intermediate. Think. Intermediate, uh, intermediate level. Ah, okay. So you only receive a certificate after the whole thing is finished, I mean, all the basic and all the intermediate. Yes. Ah, okay, interesting because uh, as my understanding, go ahead. He sent out the email and my partner of the human, human, yeah. Human. Human. human I don't think my video for the source, no sé. Sí, well, yes. Okay. Mm, well, I, I see. Uh, uh, mm, me los pidieron, man, de recursos humanos. Ah, ok. Ok, so you gave me the copy. Anyways, I thought that you were receiving a diploma for each. A module, for example, basic one, basic two, basic three, but now you clarify that one, so you see one a, at the end of the whole uh -huh. part. Yeah, right? and the, the, the basic and the intermediate. Very good. So now that you are here in this advance, whenever you finish that one, you will receive another one. That is very nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, learner satisfaction is also very important. Uh, let's see. Gloria, can you read? Okay. Let's see. Anna Selby. Not possible. Let's see then. Silvia Suleyma. Learner satisfaction, satisfaction, as well as currently gathering, gathering, gathering data on the learner experience during the course. It is also important to get an idea of your learner satisfaction. Overall, high learner satisfaction is the key to win, winning more business. So you don't want to skip this step. Here are some learner satisfaction questions to use in your training evaluation survey. Do you feel that you achieve your learning goals? How satisfied were you with this course? Did the course meet your expectations? Is there anything that you were hoping to learn that wasn't covered? Do you feel like your skills 
have improved, improved as a result of the course? What did you enjoy most about the course? What did you find most challenging about the course? How could the learning experience be improved? Would you consider taking another course on the same platform? How likely are you to recommend the course to us? To a friend. Pro tip: If someone is likely to recommend the course to a friend, consider reaching out to them for a testimonial to add to your website. Okay. So, what do you get from this part? Mm, this is this part is about. What is a uh, level of satisfaction of the course and uh, of the learning? That is it. So, yes, I mean, the third question, for example, is one very important. Did the course meet your expectations? So, before you came into this course, you had some expectations. So, the question is, are you okay? Did you learn what you were? waiting for so there are many questions that we can ask here as you can see all the survey can be amazing i mean you can have a lot of information here so you can identify best ways to do things in the future okay and we have post course experiences when learners have finished the course you can also add training evaluation questions on the past course experience and follow-up process helping you gain more information on learning experience after training ends. And there are some questions about that one as well. So some examples are like, how would you rate the past training experience? Uh, how satisfied were you with the number of follow-ups after the course? Did your follow-up meet your expectations? Would you like, would you have liked to receive additional material after you Finish the course, I believe that is very important as well. Would you have liked to receive the course materials in print? Would you have liked to have the chance to ask the instructor more questions? How would you rate the guidance you received after the course? Were you satisfied with the opportunities to provide feedback on the course? Did you feel like your need were met after the course ended? Uh, was it easy to apply what you learned in, from the course in real world context? That's why it's, it's amazing. I mean, of course, that question is not immediately after the, the training finishes, right? You need to wait to check if they are able to, to use certain things into the after the training, I mean, so you have to provide some time for them to check into that. And there are many tools so that we can use online, physical, and things like that one. Good, good. So, surveys are very important, or not only surveys, but the um, evaluation is something very important. After any process, any something that is linked to uh, a, a concept that is a continuous improvement from the Japanese people, right? They are very focused on this kind of thing. So everything is, is better. Good, good, good. So tomorrow is the last class. Remember to finish the platform. That is very important because you need to have at least 80% approved on that one, so you can move to the next level. Also, I believe at this time, I mean, at this point, everybody has, in their company, everybody has sent the papers to Insafor, so we can start next level. Okay, and uh, yeah, again, just finish the platform, which is very important to finish today or tomorrow. 
Okay, my friends, do you have any questions about the class of tonight? No questions. Okay, also remember tomorrow there are two homeworks. The first one is the three words, two as well as possible. And the other one is that you are going to think in a topic so we can discuss. Because since this is the last class, we're going to discuss many things about this. And by now, uh, I don't know if you have any questions about that. Uh, yes, yeah, teacher. Uh, sorry. Uh, the, um, the link of the um, video we you show us at the beginning of the class, you can send uh, the group. I'm sorry, uh, could you please repeat the WhatsApp cut off? Uh, the um, link of the video we you show us at the beginning of the class. Ah, oh, perfect. Yes, I will show you. I will send that tomorrow so you can have. Uh, also, there was another one that you asked me, uh, somebody asked me for that one. So I will be sending you uh, both tomorrow. Good, perfect. Okay, my friends, let's check the attendance and let's rest. Let's see. Yes, it. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Alejandra Michelle Wesson Najera. Present teacher. Good. Ana Selmi Chévez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Gloria Elizabeth Nares Galdames. Here, teacher. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Maybe Coromoto Garcia de Calderón. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present, teacher. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Presentation. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Presentation. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Presentation. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Presentation. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Arau. Present. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Good. Okay, my friends, was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in the last class and dream in English. Blessings. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Uh, good night. Good night. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye. I'm sorry, teacher. I am called. Okay, in, no words. In calling in my, in my work. I'm sorry. Oh, Bye, teacher. Still busy. Have a good I, night. Uh, um, I complete my course, teacher, and my test. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. It's the teacher. Bye. Bye. Estoy a la parte.